bond in fine order makes a noise.
The soul and spirit, they define who you are, what you have become, and who you will become. I look in the mirror, and I see the kindness that I have, the humbleness, and the caring nature, because I do not want my hair to shatter, which all of you see when you look in the mirror. Hi. Well, you know, I, I, st I started to write this poem on July 4th, and actually I finished this poem last night. I could not sleep. I was thinking about this so much. I'm going to read the last stanza first, in case we run out of time. <laughs>
the church with a fix me up whistle. Let us toss our tails in the wind with a kiss and a fix of provincial hair in ways that do not need to touch. Compare me to a horse, name me, kiss me with hair. Discourteous, frankly, my hair is, I am told, as you fight and battle, I learn to love. So yeah, um, Aretha is performing tonight and uh, for free at Coney Island and I chose to pay $10 to come see her. Because, um, because I took this writing workshop and uh, they asked us to bring in a poem by, that like that we admired or that like we wanted our poetry to look like. So I brought in a poem called um, Asking for a Heart Attack by Patricia Smith. Because that poem was just so fucking fresh to me. And the poem is about Aretha Franklin. So it's all coming together, yes. Um, so I'm going to read two pieces. Uh, this first piece is called The Big Bang Theory for Lily May Ford, who is my grandmother. In theory, she Big Bang. Her brown, round lump of a body star-dusting half-dozen babies into being and giving God all the glory. First, Junior, who sprang to 6'4 like his daddy, ate up everything, including the cardboard, pickled his tongue in sips of Thunderbird till his liver polka-dotted his hands and lips pink. Sister came next, wearing ethyl like storm cloud and hex, Shamed her into Angelina, meaning messenger of God, but she big and unpretty as a heathen. Doris Yvonne got all the pretty and the skinny and the crazy, so folks <laughs> couldn't covet. At six, she saw colors fuzzed round people, thought everybody had this rainbow vision. Then, in 1952, my mama brown nosed herself here. Granny named her Amber, a quiet, too dark punk of a girl, ass whippings all the way home from school, married her fool self off at 14. Wayne came out in handcuffs, did not pass go, went straight to jail, met Muhammad and became Ramel, became crackhead, became ghost. Pamela named me, cute as she wanna be, spoiled with religion, Granny's baby, spent half her life in the church, testifying to chicken wings, getting her holy ghost on. Granny, Big Bang, sequined hat gangster, kicked Otis Senior out the house for mucking up her do her doilies with engine grease. Grandbabies everywhere, fat as pork rinds and hungry as slaves. She banged pots till they bled gravy, banged her big body to the floor and stroke, invented serious as a heart attack. She buried all the men with Jesus on her breath. And when her big bone self big banged to dust, we didn't call it death, we called it magic. 